Hello everyone, Toby from Virgo Sewing here. Just wanted to show off the beautiful result of my, really my first full restoration of a treadle machine in which I refinished the table, I repainted the base, and redid the gold trim for the Singer logo as well is on the sides. And I use this incredible product called uh, Rub and Buff, which I saw on a video by uh, someone called Lost Mountain Restorations. So good credit to him for uh, introducing that product to me. And I really just love the way that this all turned out. I sanded the wood all the way down to the bare wood, stained it with two coats of dark walnut to bring out the lovely grain. And then I finished it with shellac. Uh, and I first decided to do it with shellac because um, I left my wipe on polyurethane elsewhere and I didn't have it with me, but I really loved the way that the shellac turned out. The way that it really brought out the beauty of the wood, the glossiness, and the fact that uh, the older uh, treadle tables, probably before the 1920s, would have been finished with shellac. Now, this machine is from 1902, if you can believe it. However, the table and the machine were purchased separately, and I sort of married them two together as they were both missing their counterpart. So, the fact that this treadle base has a metal pitman rod as opposed to a wooden pitman rod makes me think that it is uh, a bit of a later a later table than this machine. So I'm going to show you how to thread up the machine and I will demonstrate how well she sews. In here we have our shuttle which holds our bobbin. So we'll start with that and we will go from there. So you want to insert your bobbin with the thread going this way. If you do it the other way, it will not thread properly. And you're going to want to get it into the groove here. Oh, I've already done it. And sort of, with your top finger, hold the bobbin and catch the, the spring, like so. And then your bobbin will move freely just by tugging on the thread. So we insert the uh, shuttle into the shuttle carrier with this side facing the circular part of the machine just like so and that's all you do so for our top thread we bring it on from the spool to this first thread guide and through the tension discs now these earlier machines don't have the automatic tension release which uses the pin so you have to push on this in order to open up the tension discs. And I'm just going to give myself a nice bit of thread so that we can thread it properly. And I'm going to get it in to the take-up spring. Now I'm going to thread it up through the thread take-up lever, bring it through this thread guide, around this last thread guide, and then through the eye of the needle. And now to bring up our bobbin thread, we will just bring the wheel down and up, turning the wheel towards us as usual, and we'll pull out our thread. And now we're ready to sew. I have a size 14 universal needle in here for testing, and I'm using just two layers of pants denim in order to show. Let's put the presser foot down, and with the treadle, you have to start uh, with your hand on the hand wheel in order to get the proper direction of the treadle pedal. So uh, I'll start bringing it towards me, and then I will just start pedaling away and I'll show you how she sews.
What a lovely sound that these machines make. It's almost like the sound of history. Your stitch length is adjusted with this knob here. Turning it clockwise or tightening it will make the stitch longer and uh, turning it counterclockwise, loosening the screw will give you a shorter stitch length. So I'm just brought it to the longest stitch length. And this would be a good time to just check our tension and make sure that everything is good. It looks as if we could have our tension just a touch lighter, but really the stitches look great. Uh, and now I'm going to loosen it and get it to a looser, uh, smaller stitch length. really gorgeous stitches from this machine it's no surprise these old straight stitch machines uh, you really can't compare them to any newer machine in terms of their stitch quality because the needle bar only has the ability to move up and down and as soon as you have a zigzag machine where the needle bar has the, the capacity to move side to side your straight stitches just aren't as accurate and as even so I'll take it out And I will show you the lovely stitches that she makes. These are our top stitches. And you can't see it too well because they're brown, but these are our underside stitches. So uh, this machine has been through a full overhaul. You can probably see that there's a lot of wear on the metal, but for a 118 year old machine, it's not much of a surprise. Um, this machine is going to be listed on Kijiji and Facebook Marketplace. So thank you for watching. This could be the machine for you.